And just to reiterate what we're doing, I've got my palette, I'm creating a tint of red, a, the pure hue of red, and then a shade. And I just have this little sample of illustration board, and I'm just going to show you how to do that smooth gradient. And when I do a gradient, anytime I paint, really, I like to mix my colors first. Because to make a, a blended surface, you want to have wet on wet. And so I like to mix them so that it's ready to go and I don't have to pause and mix the paint and then it dries out. So this is a cadmium red and because we're videoing this on this Elmo, sometimes my colors change a little bit. And then I've already mixed some but I'm going to remix just for the demonstration. And this little cup over here I'm going to make, one is going to be a shade and one is going to be the tint. And so I'm going to put some red in both. And I want to start out slow because if I grab too much, it's very hard to get back down to the color I wanted. So move slower. I'm going to grab a little bit bits of white. And it's slowly lightening up, but it is making it a pink color. And on the screen, it looks darker than it is. So I'm going to make it lighter than I normally would, just so you guys can tell. So that's very, very pink. And I don't want it to look pink. And there's nothing wrong with pink, but for this demonstration, I want to show you how to avoid pink since everyone knows how to achieve it. I'm just adding some red, or I'm sorry, some orange. And these are Windsor Newton paints. And it will make it kind of like a salmon y color instead of a pink color. And I'm still going to, because I added orange, it darkened it up a little bit. So now I'm going to add some more white. And I don't have a huge area that I'm painting. So if it seems like, because I kept adding paint, adding paint, I have so much, I could take my next cup over and create an even lighter tint, but not have to waste so much white. So now I have my hue, plus a medium tint, and a very light, like a highlighted tint. And that's just fine. Okay. And now what I can do is I want to rinse my paintbrush really good, because I want to make the shade. And if I don't rinse it, I've got all this white, and then that will cause a problem creating this shade. So I want to go back to my original hue color, which is just this cad red. And I've mixed it in here, and I'm going to add just a dab of black. I've just barely dipped the tip of my paintbrush in that black. I prefer to use um, brown when darkening up a red, but because this is a level one art class, I just wanted to show you how to do it with black. Very, very little black. I mean, I used way more white than I did the black because it's just so potent. And then I'm going to compare it to my, my pure hue. Maybe I want to go a little darker. I do just because I want it to be dramatic and awesome. So, Okay, so now I've mixed them and I'm happy with them. So I'm going to rinse that paintbrush. Because I'm just doing a gradient wash, I'm just using this square brush. I don't have to rinse, get the paintbrush wet. I kind of like to. I have a paper towel that I'm dampening my paintbrush with over here. And now I'm just going to start the gradient. And I'm just going to go, sorry, I'm running out of space for you guys to see here. This is just a square piece of illustration board. It's probably like five and a half by five and a half or something. So I'm just going to start with the dark and then do gradient to light. So I'm going to take my shade that I've mixed and I'm going to hold this out of the way. And I'm just going back and forth. No, I'm good, Martin. Thank you. And as I'm painting, I might not have, now I'm looking at this, I might not have mixed enough of my shade. So if I make that mistake, I want to come in here real quick and hurry and mix it in before I'm getting before it dries out and I want this to be thick enough that I'm not seeing my brush stroke sometimes what happens where I have this illustration board and it's not treated with a gesso and I can explain what that is later um, the illustration board will eat up some of my because it's dry, it takes some of the moisture out. And so sometimes you have to mix maybe a little more paint than you want. Now I've just taken my straight hue, and because it's wet, I, oops, sorry, I'm losing my paper here. 
I can blend it right up into the dark and I'm getting instead of a stripe I'm getting this really nice gradient and so what I did is I took my paper towel and I dabbed my paper towel off so I didn't have a super strong shade and now I'm gonna go with my highlight and because it's still wet it should blend nicely into the hue so this is my highlight I notice I have a piece of scrap paper underneath so that I don't get it on the tabletop and I'm going to grab a little more red paint because I'm running low. So now I'm going to take the pure red hue and I'm going to put that in the middle. Again, I'm layering and I'm going to blend that into the highlight so I don't have this stripe. Okay, and I'm going to wipe off my paintbrush, pick up more of my highlight. So notice how I'm doing, it's kind of a back and forth thing right at it and then I'm gonna go back oh I've got scrap paper here I could just do that easier I just picked up some more of the straight hue of red and I've blended that now I'm gonna rinse this paintbrush real quick and I'm gonna pick up more of my shade because the shade needs to be really strong contrast blend that into the hue just a little bit more And then, and I didn't paint to the edge, so maybe I should. I won't stop. I won't quit, you guys. I do need to add a little bit more black. And maybe I want this to be a little darker just because it is the very edge. So I can make that even darker. And I'm going fast. I do want you to go fast so your paint doesn't dry, but maybe not quite as fast as I did. Okay, and there's your gradient. Tint, hue, shade.